So it's doing wheel effects. This end of the bar, which affects this, pushes and pulls it both ways. So this one pushes the wheel. And that one pushes it back across there again. Um, the problem is, one of them's bent. Well, since I'm replacing the ends and I have to replace this bar, I might as well do them all. I've already squirted penetrating oil up with this stuff. Yeah, don't recommend this. Oh, I know. Uh, the other thing I do partly recommend is jacket cakes. These really help jobs get done. But what fuck off? <laughs> hitting possibly the upright of the Arco and took the free wheel hub off. So I think that's actually quite good. Now, although this is a kit, it's, uh, it's not assembled. Uh, so I'll just put one together so that I can give the illusion of knowing what the f I'm talking about on camera. So uh, essentially what I've done is copy that. Now there are two types of ends on these. Uh, the boxes are marked <coughs> differently. So that one is a track rod end series three RTC 5867. Whereas I'm imagining the other one is a 5868. Something to do with left hand and right hand threads apparently. So the six sevens on, six eight, Let's see if I'm right. I'll type this out. Well, it's always good to try your theories out live. Now these track rods, they've got slots cut in. So there's a slot in here and on the other side, which according to the videos is a great way for them to collect. <laughs> Just goes in there, seals up this thread, ends up welding itself together. Uh, so at some point I'm going to try and seal that with um, silicon or mastic or something. But first of all, before we get carried away, let's see if anything goes in. But it's not. <laughs> Great. Good. Good. <coughs> Because I was turning it the wrong way, lefty tighty, righty loosey. Honest to God, I sometimes I wonder how I get out of bed sometimes. Uh, now a little tip I picked up from the font of Paul Wisdom YouTube was <coughs> uh, counting the number of threads. So from the pin end, I can't see this by the way. I'm just doing it by feel. Steers. <laughs> oh, 
want to change the that thing, then that's not hard. Ooh, a big bright spot. I, I got one of those out, which now I'm looking at it, it's sort of an S-bend. And it's been quite a clatter. And uh, it went quite well. So, foolishly, I'm going to try and take the other one out. And I have here a longitudinal arm. So now let's, uh, I don't know, do you, are you supposed to prep them before you take the old one out? Is that what you're supposed to do? Seems like you should. Okay, well, let's do that then. Let's, let's, let's prep one. One of them, one of them. A couple of these. Now I've got one of each. Get left hand and right hand thread. Don't forget all that sort of thing. I don't know which is which. Now this one, I don't suppose it matters which way up it goes. Look at that, it's gone straight on. Oh. La la la, la 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 la. My torch has gone off again. I have never, in all the time I've had this torch, known the battery run out. Which shows you just how much I'm doing. Now I'm going to be chancy here and use the battery from the grinder. That shouldn't work. <laughs> Not bolt. Box away, gone. Box gone. Bag. Not and bolt. Doings. Do you, are you supposed to feel sentimental about washers and old nuts that are covered in crap? Uh, yeah, you are. They, they go there anyway. It's coming off. D lefty tighty. Look at that, it's doing it like a pro now. It's almost like I've done one before. <laughs> it's similar. Oh God, help me now. I don't know about you guys, but I get really <laughs> slippery fingers. I get really worked up about really stupid things that don't matter at all. When they, obviously washers are pressed out, so there's a sharp side and a curved side to them. And in my head, they have to go on with the sharp side toward the object and the rounded side toward the nut. Just seems like that's how it should be. Sharp side, roundy side. Roundy side out. Just seems finished that way, doesn't it? And can you imagine the horror, the absolute horror of putting one in one way, one of these brackets on one way and one on the other way? Imagine the horror. <laughs> like it matters. I haven't even got the old one off yet. I'm just farting around here. Maybe I'm stalling. All right. Let's do some proper stuff. Yeah, it has. Git. And of course, they've done it the way around. That's really hard to get to. So you see, I've done mine. Sort of coming from the, the vehicle side out, this one, set up the other way around. So obviously somebody's been able to do this on a ramp and they're showing off. Unlike me, scrabble around amongst all the cobwebs and the nastiness. Yeah, let's try and get the bloody thing then. I don't know if it's just me. I imagine it's everybody. But I always have these visions of the bloody thing falling over when I'm in this position. I just think everybody has that fear at some point. Okay, come on, come on, come on. It'd be a lot easier with a pair of dragon nose pliers. But I don't have them. What are you supposed to call them? Bullnosed? Is that, is that? As soon as I say bullnose, I think of Alan Partridge. I think of bullnose on the left. I circumnavigate the globe 
only driving through countries where, where they drive on the left. <laughs> and, uh, I do it in a lovely old bullnose Morris. We could call it Around the World with Alan Partridge in a bullnose on the left. <laughs> Something fell out of your pocket. Pound coin, mate. Pound coin fell out of your pocket, mate. You must be minted. It, it's, all, it's all falling out of your trouser leg now. <laughs> I'm raining money, as opposed to hemorrhaging money, which I'm very good at. Scratch me new bar though. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> well, it's not that one, is it? What an idiot. Have <sighs> you been sitting there watching me thinking, yeah, it's the wrong bar, mate? You have, haven't you? I'll go and get the long one and make that one up, shall I? Honesty. Oh, I'm stuck. Another penny. Find a penny, pick it up, and all day you'll know where that penny is. Not necessarily any others. Maybe find a penny, pick it up, that would do. I remember I did a theatre tour around Texas a long time ago, in the 80s. So long ago that I thought uh, Snoopy's character Joe Cool actually was cool. Everywhere you went in Texas at that time, they had a phrase which was, shit happens, deal with it. And uh, good idea, yes, shit happens, you should deal with it, yes. But then uh, I went to Australia a little bit after that, a few years after that, and they said, oh, shit happens. I rather liked that. <coughs> so I think the find a penny, pick it up, and all day you'll have good luck thing, in that Australian sense, might be just a bit much. How about find a penny? Any questions? Otherwise, you'd be flat out like a lizard drinking. One of my other favourite Australian phrases. In fact, while I was in Australia, that same trip, I went over there for a year, and uh, <laughs> previously, as I say, I'd been in Texas, and they had this thing about, oh, see, you've distracted me, I haven't put the little doodars on. Um, I blame that on Texas. Don't get me wrong, I think Texas is great. It's just they pissed me off. But um, these people would come around, they'd say, go to a party, and eventually somebody would say, you're from England, huh? To which the answer quite inevitably is, yes. And they'd say, you know, you could drop in England in the middle of Texas, you wouldn't find it for two weeks. <laughs> and they'd look around at each other. <laughs> <laughs> and every single party we went to, sooner or later, you're from England, huh? Yes. <laughs> you know, you could drop England, middle of Texas, you wouldn't find it for two, <laughs> and I couldn't think of anything to say. Which isn't like me, but I, but I couldn't. And so, everywhere I went, I was secretly fuming at these ridiculous comments. But, uh, I then went to Australia, like I said, years afterwards, forgotten all about the Europe of England, her scenario, and uh, found myself in a beach barbecue. Sure enough, there was a Texan there. <laughs> and in the middle of the barbecue, he said, you're from England, huh? Yes. 
You know, you could drop England in the middle of Texas. You wouldn't find it for two weeks. <laughs> and I couldn't think of anything. People laughed. It was very funny. Uh, and an Australian chap by the name of Max, I shall remember him forever, he said, you know, you could drop Texas in the middle of Australia. Nobody bother fucking looking. And I sang Hosanna. <laughs> it was serendipitous. And I swore at that moment onwards, all Australians are faultless. So thank you to Max for uh, gifting the entire Australian nation with impunity. They are now, as I say, without sin <laughs> and shall be in perpetuity. Just for showing up, Mr, as I like to refer to him, as Mr. <laughs> I think he's a sound you can only do if you're from Texas. Incidentally, uh, referring, about, referring to Texas, um, if you're watching, Ron White. I'm listening. Right, that doesn't include you, you're great. We like you a lot. You should be an honorary Brit. You're uh, admittedly closer to a Scotsman than, than an Englishman, but I don't know how that works really, but I feel as though you're closer to Billy Connolly. Agnes. Than to say, I don't know, Charles Dance. <laughs> who is also a very nice man. Ungrateful little stuff. I, I mean, mean, really, <laughs> after all I'd done for it. Now, who is the chap who my old Kung Fu teacher taught for a while? I thought I was really nervous, you know, about doing it. Would they be better on the underside? I think they would. That hurt a little bit. Ouch. So those are both on the same side. Let's prep this up first. There's me washers, one washer, a thingy. Smooth, roundy side out from that side. Another washer. I've got two washers. Put it on. Nylock, and the nylon out. Drop the wash, drop the knot, lose the knot, find the knot, nearly run over your fingers with the wheelie chair. Try very really hard not to drop the knot again. They don't tell you this stuff on most of the fabulous mechanical how-to shows, you know. Tighty, come on, we know this by now. I'm going to say it's about that. Before I clamp it up, I'm going to nip it, but not clamp it. Just get the angle of that there dangle. Okay. Well, those ones come off really easily. Is it just because I was being a total Jesse about it last time? Now, how has that happened? This one is the I can't have that. <laughs> at the bottom, at the top. I can't have that. Balls. The thing was going so well. Cocked it up, does it? Cocked it up. Now right down to yourself. First time for everything. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Let's get this bastard back in. Drop, drop, drop. That's gone quite well. The nice man on my little television home thing, computer, I think they call them nowadays, he said that even if this has gone very, very well, you should still have your tracking checked. And you know, I think he's got a point. It seems to be a thing, however, on YouTube maintenance videos that you have to always start off going in the wrong direction with your ratchet or air gun if you're fancy. So it has to start off wrong so you can then do it right, apparently. Is that in the right place? Where's my debris? Oh, there's one. I've got one. So, to help me from next time, from this side. say that, but I, I have never tightened something to such a degree that sh** came out. I don't know of anybody who ever has. How much would you have to tighten an object so that sh** came out? Because that's pretty f***ing tight, isn't it? Or is it? <laughs> Without wishing to sound bass, it comes out of me all the time. Um, I don't regard myself as overly tight. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I should be tighter. But then again, is defecation a means for judging quality? Not there. Not there. Not there. Too tight. Lisa. Oh, ho, we're in. Time to bend the split pin. Attentive side wants it to do a particular thing. I say side, I think. Predominantly, that's me. Mr. Pedantry. Which, of course, should be Mr. Pedantic. But who cares? Apart from me. And maybe Tony Wood. Right, so. Uh, while surrounded by sh that's these two replaced and uh, as I believe Oscar Wilde once said I can't be asked to do that one um, yeah, that might not, no that wasn't Wilde was it it was Shaw anyway be that as it may that's for another time because hidden away a bit I can see one end of it no idea where the other end is um, but there, yeah, not bad, quite easy. He said, having not driven it yet. So those can possibly go on somebody else. Well, not that one. That's cream crackered. But that one possibly go on somebody else's vehicle. There's nothing wrong with that. I'll put that one on the scrap heap, though. 
Somebody might want those, though. See you later. Yes. Split pins. Split pins are go go. <whistles> Who was that? I started a go go. Einstein a go go. All I can tell you is it wasn't a band from the 30s. Was it the 80s? Must have been the 80s. Einstein a go go. One of the first computery jobs, wasn't it? Somebody like Thomas Dolby, but not necessarily Thomas Dolby. If you're seeing this, Thomas Dolby, I'm apologising if I'm blaming you for doing Einstein a go-go when it, it wasn't you. I bet I can't remember. If it was you, I actually quite liked the song. Also, I quite like the album Aliens Ate My Buick, which I believe was you. Uh, but if I'm honest, I liked the title more than the album. Sorry. Now, the all seeing eye, that being, of course, YouTube, said you should do all of this with your wheels pointing dead center forward. So I've done what I can, but it's hard to tell with some vehicles. Some vehicles it's easier to tell if you're dead centre forward than with others. This being one of the latter types. When I say latter, I mean it isn't easy to tell. Let's take the new one out of the way just for a minute, shall we? Right, as they say in certain areas of Peru, what the fuck is going on here? Incidentally, do you think James May really does name his tools. I wonder that every time. Or are they just making fun of him? And if he does, is that bad? Is that a bad thing? I think it is, isn't it? James, you're a nutter. Or oh, don't make the gargantuan leap that I'm on the side of Jeremy Clarkson. Funny though, I think he is and in many senses a comic genius. Not necessarily deliberately. Yeah, naming your tools is a bit far, but I think I quite like it. I don't name my tools. I named my vehicle. That's quite enough for me. <laughs> All right, so there's a little bit out. Let's see if I can get to the, the little bugger. Blind. I've got a little hitter. Serve as a little hitter. <clears throat> Assorted swear words. I will say, however, that on this occasion, it probably would have been easier if the split had been on the other side. <laughs> Hell with a bleeding Nora. Problem is, every time I try to tap them out, they bend. <coughs> Needs a couple of extra layers of face on this. I think the trouble is I can't really get the grinder in on this. Maybe I'll go underneath. If I go underneath, I'll go underneath. Wheelie trolley. The subject of wheelie trolley. Wheelie trolley is really suffering now. A wheelie trolley spent a lot of time in the garden. J 
gently rotting. And now a wheelie trolley has lost an awful lot of the support and studs from, <coughs> from underneath. So the, uh, the <laughs> where my bottom goes when I sit on wheelie trolley, there's no wood there. <coughs> oh, I didn't do magic squirty. Didn't do magic squirty on this, did I? Time for magic squirty. If ever there was a time for magic squirty, it was now. Magic squirty. Come on, magic squirty. Good. I'm out of Jaffa cakes. That's the worst news. Ow. <laughs> Rosie just bit me. <sighs> Don't know what just fell in my mouth, but it was unpleasant. Okay, I'm going for option 11 now. Twist it around until it breaks. Sounded good, it wasn't. Or was it? Yes, it was good. Coming out. Uh, scrabbling around for thingamy. Got thingamy. Bottom sunk through wood. Yabogger, yabogger, yabogger. Shall I show you where, what's going on under here? Trouble is, of course, I can't see. I don't get far enough away from it to ascertain whether or not it's in focus. So I'm going to just assume that that's in focus, because I can't tell. It's too close to me to be able to tell whether it's in focus or not. So this, that is the bit. It doesn't look like it's in focus. Is it in focus? This thing anyway. Let's get it off. down there. It's the bugger right there, look. I can't tell if it's in focus or not. That's my breath. Good. Anyway, it's cracking on. Now I'm seeing here, it may be an issue. The uh, bulkhead appears to be right up against how far, how much clearance do I have there? Is that going to, it's not going to clear, is it? Little bugger, little bugger. Little tiny little. It isn't going to give me sufficient clearance to get the puff from the side and the from the sicker out. <sighs> now that I've done all that, looks like I don't have the clearance get it out anyway without taking off the bulkhead mount. So that'll come out. No bother. Let's try. That's out. That's good. There's nowhere to hammer from. Get. <laughs> Get out. I think I might leave that for a minute. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> I 
think what you have to do is take the upper arm off. But this bit here hasn't got the clearance. So if there's no clearance here, I can't get that out. So I have to come up to get this nut, this nut here, and try and get that out. Woohoo! So that means tank has to come out because there's a lot of wiring in the way. And then be able to get the upper arm off. So I'll do that. And I'm taking out the oil filter for the air and I can get at that nut. But the thing is, if I move it, then the steering wheel moves. So I'm holding the steering wheel and undoing that nut. Hopefully keeping it in a nice place, similar to where it was when it started out. It's a massive bleeding nut. What have I got on here? 32. It's a big old lump. Now those are going to have to go back on. Now how do you get the bleeding nut off? <laughs> it seems to have splines. Which is not what I want to hear at all. Let's try a pry, pry bar on it. Currently is moving nowhere. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Not good. moving but not very much so I'm wondering if I can just pry the bottom of it away no chance no this is a bigger job than I anticipated which it won't come out of there unless I do the other side. The bottom end of this won't come out until the swing arm that it moves on is moved. Uh, that one won't come out until the swing arm it moves on has come out. So all bigger than I thought. All right, one last try, one last try. I think that's just rounding the nut rather than taking it off. Right. This is all just because I run out of Jaffa cakes, that's why this has happened. Uh, connect us to my horn of perished. So 19 went on, but it's not a 19. It's an 18. Bending on the other side. Now what size do we go up to? 19. Um, and an 18, hurrah. We do have an 18, God bless you Barco. But that's spinning in the crescent. 
No. So it's smaller than that one on the other side. Smaller, one smaller. See what that does. That's catching it. For a few days now, I've been listening over and over to Pink Floyd singing Comfortably Numb. to say I'm not a little bit grumpy now because it's harder than I wanted it to be I didn't want it to be this hard but it is so I don't know how the hell you get to it so I don't like it anymore I'm gonna have to look it up good that's that settled bye I stay in a go go I'm just a monkey with a spanner, but if I can do this, you can do that.